Welcome back, everyone. 11 Alive's The Reveal takes an in-depth look at the stories that matter most to our community. Chief Investigator Brendan Keefe is here to preview the story of a collection agency under the microscope. Welcome back. It's so good to be here. We love always here. love having your team because you are doing such great work um, exposing companies, businesses, individuals uh, right here in our community um, who unfortunately uh, we need to pull the covers off and, and really show people what they are. And that's what we're talking about today. So this is a big collection agency. Are they harassing people over the phone? What are they doing that's, um, it's, that you're it, decided it, to expose It's an them? interesting one because our insider is obviously a former employer. He would say, obviously, he's a whistleblower, but they call him a disgruntled former employee, which we can talk about more. But what's interesting about this story is that actually he says collections are necessary. If people didn't pay their bills, then, you know, no one could ever borrow money. Right. And so there has to be a way to collect bills. But there are laws that govern these things, and he's saying he saw them breaking them on at least one documented occasion. You know, in, in the reveal, we like documents. We like things uh, that we can prove. So what we have here is an example of two things. One, how they're treating customers, consumers, and then two, how they're treating their own clients. Take a look at a little bit of a preview. Oh, wow. His lawsuit claims, among other things, NCS was keeping interest payments from court judgments in favor of the apartment owners. Baxter says he went straight to NCS President Joel Lackey to report he suspected hundreds of thousands of dollars in interest was kept from the company's clients for years. And I'm not going to take part in that. And they, they told me, no, you don't know what you're talking about. So what did they do? They kept the money. Oh, they kept the money. So this was, what's in dispute is how much money. Okay. So the company is saying, well, it's an insignificant amount. This lawyer is saying in his lawsuit that it's as much as a million dollars or more Clearly that they've kept from their, their clients. The company actually admits to this. It's called National Credit Systems is the name of the company. They're Atlanta-based, but they operate in all 50 states. They're saying, look, the clients, that this interest that we're keeping, it was a hassle to their clients. They were sending the checks back. Please, we don't want the money because we can't post it, so why don't you just keep it? But then, of course, they're also admitting that they don't tell all their clients that they're keeping that interest money. And what are they saying about the whistleblower, uh, Ryan Baxter? Um, he doesn't seem like a disgruntled employee. He seems like somebody who actually has a conscience and we just wanted to do the right thing. Well, I mean, he's obviously a former employee. Look, people do not bring things to investigative reporters without an agenda. Sure. His agenda, he's, he's suing his former employer. But first, he went to police and reported this. And secondly, he went to the Colorado Attorney General. He tried, and he filed a lawsuit. So before he came to the news media, he, tri media, he tried to go through the standard sure. practice. So he believes he's a whistleblower. They say he's a disgruntled former employee, and this is a shakedown for money. Okay, and the renters, let's talk about everything being documented through the call recordings, right? Yes. That's, that's what they do. That's part of the business. Yeah, so, so, so they, they have to, so when they, when collections agency calls you, they have to validate the debt. So they have to prove you owe the money if you ask for proof. Take a look at what happened to one caller. Austin. Austin, listen to me. Listen to me. Let me do me a favor. Do me a favor, Austin. Don't ever call me back again, okay? Because you're one of those people. You don't want to hear the truth, and you don't want to accept the truth. He told me that we should write the attorney general back and tell them that we had lost the call recordings. Wait, wait. Write the attorney general and say you lost the recording? Yes, sir. Were the recordings lost? No. Well, that can't be legal. Well, it turns out uh, that they did send the letter. They asked him to send the letter, but instead his boss signed this letter, and the letter says, we are unable to locate the call recordings, the call recordings that the reveal has obtained. And on there, they tell the consumer that he has to prove he doesn't owe the money, which is the opposite of federal right, law. Right, yeah. okay. Um, widespread spread problem within the company. I, what are you seeing, isolated incident? That's a really good question, because we asked the company for internal documents and they would not give us any. They wouldn't even tell us, even though they said it was a one half of one tenth of one percent of the total revenue that they're keeping uh, in the interest money, they wouldn't tell us what their total revenue is. So what we have is this one call from three years ago, and we don't know if it's representative of the 10,000 calls they get or more uh, a week. So is this just one example that this insider kept? We really don't know. What we do know is they're continuing to call, uh, call consumers right now, mm -hmm. and that's why we're doing an in-depth investigation into this. Right. Okay. Uh, we can not wait to catch the full story. Thank you so much for the Thank preview. You. Uh, please make sure you tune in. It's Monday, 11 p.m. on Up Late. And don't forget to tune in to the reveal Sundays, 6 p.m. right here on 11 Alive. Thank you so much. Thank you. So good.